I have been in almost every single master plan community in Houston, Texas, and I have to tell you, this one has some of the best deals that we have seen. We're gonna be showing you inside of four different builders today, and all of them are offering something super unique, but what all of them have in common is that their prices are exceptionally low. We have homes starting out here in the 200,000s, and on top of that, some of the builders are paying all of your closing costs, buying your interest down to 4.99% for 30 years, and one of them is even giving you an entire home generator, and no, we're not way out here in the middle of nowhere anymore. We're actually five minutes from one of my favorite suburbs. We are right here in Magnolia, Texas, and the amenities that are in this community are really fantastic. And the great part is you don't have to wait on them when you buy a home. They're already in place. They've got a pool, a splash pad, and an amazing playground with a ton of commercial amenities located just outside of this community. And if you're wondering about schools, we've got you covered on those two because you are located in Magnolia ISD with some A-rated schools. So we're going to go and and check out our first house and tell you everything that this community has to offer. Our first builder we are inside of right now is Empire Homes and this is their 50-foot model home. They're actually the developer here and so they're gonna be building on a 50-foot and a 40-foot product and as you can see there's some really cool stuff in this house but I wanted to get you straight in because in a 50-foot product I think it's important for you to understand the width of the house and it feels nice and open and I got a comment just the other day so I need to clear things up if you don't know what a 50 foot product is or a 40 foot product is, let me explain really quickly. That just means that the front width of the lot is that wide. And so in this 50 foot product, the front width of the home or of the lots 50 feet wide, which means this house itself wall to wall is 40 feet wide. So that's all it means just to clear things up. But what's crazy with Empire are the prices. And I'm gonna tell you those at the end of this tour. Go ahead and guess down in the comments below as we walk through exactly what you think this home costs. But their designers did an amazing job. We'll actually start over here in the kitchen. I, I love the selections and I really like when you have a kind of a recessed kitchen where it feels like its own thing that opens up to the living room. And so plenty of space in here. We'll start with the big island. You got three bar stools up here and some really cool stone that they decided to go with. So they got the deep farmhouse sink, a lot of cool fixtures going on in here. One thing I wanna point out as we walk through Empire Homes, if you're not super familiar with them, they actually are a turnkey builder. And so the price, it, what you see is what you get. It comes with fridge, washer, dryer, blinds, everything. So that the day that you move in, you've got everything that you need. A lot of builders will advertise low prices. And then you move in and you find out that you're missing stuff left and right. No, not, not with these guys. And that's why this place is an absolute deal. So over in the kitchen, you got your gas cooktop and then you've got your oven over here with your microwave. Perfect height, perfect height. Not too high, not too low absolutely perfect height and I like the green doors that doesn't come standard that's something that their designers did afterwards but they are not cutting you short when it comes to pantry size I absolutely love it um, it's everything you could ask for and I was pleasantly surprised as we walked through this home um, before we started filming just to show you guys um, the amount of space that's in here so huge living room and what I really like is just they didn't cut you short on this kind of formal dining area you've got these massive sliders um, which go open up obviously to the backyard. We can't go out there right now because I think they're pressure washing. Um, this is a model home. Most of the yards are actually gonna be a little bit deeper than this one. But guys, another thing that I really love is this flooring. It looks like a light oak, but it's actually a luxury vinyl plank. It's super, super sturdy materials. It's water resistant, scratch proof. So if you've got bigger dogs, don't get real wood floors. Go with this stuff or go with tile. You will thank me later. I can't tell you how many times we walk in a gorgeous home and their dogs have cost them $30,000 because they ruined their engineered hardwood floors. Get a look at this. You got cathedral ceilings in the master bedroom, king size bed, so much space, tons of natural light coming in through here. Got this kind of bumped out windows. What I also like is that you can kind of see the patio from inside of here. Coming over here into the master, a model home is always gonna have more upgrades, right? And so we're gonna be really transparent with pricing. I think that's really important, but they've got some move-in ready options of this exact floor plan. And I think your jaw is gonna drop when we tell you exactly what the prices are. Now, I like a big bathroom. I like when it's nice and open. And so what I really appreciate in here is you're getting two separate vanities. That one's much smaller. I can tell you, at least in my marriage, I would probably end up with that one. Um, and then you've got your full walk-in shower over here with a nice bench where, you know, if you watch any of our other videos, you know, sometimes I like to just take a nice little seat, catch my breath, ponder, and then just get right back up and seize the day. And that's what you can do if you buy one of these showers. And then you got your soaker tub, but, we missed something very important. Everybody's probably looking at that closet going, one closet, is that not enough space? Do me a favor, turn around. 
check this out. You got two closets, both absolutely massive. In a 2,500 square foot home, to not just get two closets, but to get two large closets, that's a winner. So whoever designed this floor plan for Empire did a phenomenal job. And yes, I do listen to you in the comments. I finally had people replying, they do want a door on the toilet room. No need to explain myself. So um, instead of a linen closet, you actually have plenty of space here in the built-ins. Our house didn't come with a linen closet, something to take notes of. We actually had to add cabinetry. So I do love that in lieu of a linen closet, they actually have this built in. So very nice touch. Now with this floor plan, it's got a couple different configurations. As you can see here, you've got these really cool sliding barn doors and it opens up into a theater slash flex room. They've got it set up with their stagers as an office, but you can see they've got speakers built in here. This would make a great playroom for the kids just off of the living room and kitchen. It would also make a great home office. So y'all can kind of fight over who's gonna get to utilize this space. But what I will tell you is that this floor plan being 2,500 square feet with this secondary living space right here on this same floor, um, you are giving up a bedroom. So this is a three bedroom with this flex space. They have an option to make this a bedroom and close it, and then you would actually enter in from right up this way. But what I do like is not all the bedrooms are crammed right next to each other. In fact, none of them even share walls with one another. So you have these different wings of the home. So over here, you've got your full bathroom that's dedicated to the bedroom that we're about to show you. And then down this hallway as well, you've got a massive laundry room. And check this out. Once again, the square footage goes a lot further when you put it in the right places. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here with this builder. Um, getting these added uh, built-ins, not cheap, totally worth it to have all this extra storage in here. You got folding counter space, and then look, they even set it up where they got a little uh, nook for the, for the puppies. Uh, you do have gas run in here, so you can go gas or electric dryer, and then come on in here and you can get a feel for the size of these bedrooms because they are not small. This is a full-size bed, plenty of room for a desk, a large dresser, a chair, I mean, plenty of space in here. And then the closet sizes, I've been, Plenty impressed by the closet sizes. These aren't dinky closets, these are full size walk-in closets. So they're gonna give you a ton of space. And then, as I mentioned, these bedrooms aren't right on top of each other. Up here at the front of the house, you've got another, but I do wanna show you, got some good storage, plenty of space. Keep your cleaning stuff in here, right in the middle of the house. And then, coming this way, plenty of space in this bedroom also. One thing to point out, we saw it as we were walking up to the house. You have a front porch on this home. I can't emphasize enough. If you're gonna, if you're gonna have a, let's say a young family, or even if you don't have a young family and you wanna meet your neighbors, you don't meet your neighbors in the backyard, you meet them in the front yard. And when it's hot out, which it is, you're gonna want a nice place to sit. I actually have these exact rocking chairs in black on my front porch and we bought them because we spend all our time in the front yard. We spend a bunch of money in the backyard. We spend our time in the front yard. We've got a bunch of kids on our street and it makes it well worth it to have that covered front patio. This is a full on suite. So there's plenty of room in here for everyone. Come on in, uh, pretty good sized closet. And then because this is an en suite, um, I actually appreciate that they opted for a tub shower combination in here. It makes it suitable for kids, especially with this being a three bedroom. Um, if you went for the four bedroom option, what you might wanna do is close that up and make it a full shower. Now, one thing you're probably wondering is price. Well, I can tell you this, these prices start really, really low, and I'm gonna tell you about them as we go to our next house. Now, there's a lot to unpack when it comes to pricing and deals, but I wanna be very, very clear with you guys. When we say the prices, this is what they're actually selling for. So this being their 50 foot larger product with Empire, they've got some crazy incentives going on right now. But as far as prices go, you can get things uh, on the smaller side, just under 2000 square feet. And then their larger products are gonna go up to around 2,800 square feet. But get this, their prices in their largest product out here start around $325,000. And if you go absolutely crazy in the design center, you're gonna be just up over that $400,000 price point. But they have this exact floor plan being built here in the neighborhood, inventory homes that are moving ready at $369,000. Now it might not have the sliders and some of the upgraded features, but guys, $369,000, but get this, that doesn't even include their incentives. See, one thing I wanna educate you on is anytime you have the developer also being the builder, they're going to find ways to save money to compete with these other guys. Right now on select home sites, they are actually paying all of your closing costs. And if you don't know what closing costs are, they can add up to $15,000 on a home like this. So they're paying all of your closing costs 
but what they're also doing for FHA and VA buyers. FHA and VA buyers, they're actually doing a fixed 30-year 4.99% interest rate, and they're doing a 599 on conventional buyers. So with these rates recently coming down, we are seeing some absolutely crazy incentives. Now, our next builder is actually doing something really creative. You may have been paying attention that we had some pretty bad power outages here in the Houston area after the last hurricane. Well, get this. They are actually, if you contract in the next 30 days, going to throw in an entire home generator. And let me tell you, there's no greater peace of mind when we do go through storms here, have power outages, knowing that about 60 seconds after the power goes out, click, it comes right back on. And so these generators, I had one installed in my house, they cost about $14,000 and that's savings that they are giving you. So this is Highland's 50 foot product. And as we walk up, I do need to mention, guys, we make these videos just for you. We do this every single day. You can scroll through our channel and you'll see we're pretty good at it at this point, but we also have great relationships with these builders. So if you're thinking of moving to Houston and you have any questions, do not be shy. We mean it when we say, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. And what really helps the channel is if you just like and subscribe below, leave some comments if you got any questions and that's it. Let's go check out this new house. This is Highland Homes 50 foot product. And we've shown you Highland Homes in a lot of our other videos, but I absolutely love this product. And one thing that I will say about this neighborhood specifically is this has some of the best Highland prices that I've seen anywhere. So you're getting really a world-class product. I absolutely love their product at really, really, uh, I would say rock bottom prices. So obviously we just passed up a bunch of stuff. I wanna point out in 40, 50 foot products, a lot of times the homes are going to run down some kind of you know center hallway. Um, and they're a little bit more compartmentalized. But what I like is Highland's floor plans just feel different than everybody else's. Um, but one thing that they do is they have 12 foot ceiling heights throughout their home. So it opens up their one story significantly more than a lot of the others that we see. This is their uh, 50 foot Davenport floor plan. It's just around 2,300 square feet. It's a four bedroom home. Uh, and I absolutely love everything that you see. So it's got a really unique shaped kitchen island and there's a lot of little features I'm gonna point out as we walk through. First off, absolutely massive um, porcelain farmhouse sink. It's got kind of this, uh, I don't even know what you call this edge, but I like it because it's like an apron front. And then coming right over here, you can notice you've got two different tones of cabinets. You've got the natural wood look as well as the white uppers. And then this is a little bit extra, but I love the touch whenever you add the, uh, the top cabinetry with the lighting for more of a decorative piece. Now it's even with that added, they still don't go all the way up to the ceiling once again, because you've got 12 foot ceilings in here. So uh, as opposed to the next door, you actually have a five burner gas cooktop. So it's a little bit larger with your vent hood. And I love these. You've got your Kentmore pullout cabinets. Uh, Kentmore built the cabinets in my home. I've really enjoyed them um, and having large drawers for your pots and pans, I think makes a big difference over actual cabinetry. So plenty of counter space here, a really good sized kitchen. I'm always happy with the appliance uh, selections that they have in these homes. You can upgrade from fridge air um, to some higher end appliances if you would like, um, but this is what comes standard when you purchase a Highland here. Now, one thing that I thought was super cool, um, you tell me if you like it or not, because part of me is a little bugged that they had to cut a hole in this solid piece of stone, but for those of you that work from your computers and laptops, iPads, everything, they've got a little charging block right here in the island. And so uh, it's really nice if you've got little kids because we've got those little plastic, uh, I guess, plug protectors to keep our kids from doing that. Well, you don't need those up here. They can't reach. And so you can just plug your computer, iPad, iPhone, whatever you need in here. And no storage was wasted. Check this out. They actually have an extra cabinet over here on the side. And while we're down here, Let's talk about the floors. You've got these nice luxury vinyl plank floors, uh, very similar to next door. I like this product. We see it in Highland a lot. And uh, I really, I think it's an affordable, good quality option uh, that's super durable. So I think it checks a lot of different boxes. And man, it is just so open in here. This is your kind of kitchenette, formal dining area. Not quite as large as the home we saw next door, but keep in mind this home's about 200 square feet smaller. And they've got a lot of different floor plans over here, starting around 1600 square feet, uh, going all the way up into the higher 2000s. So they've got a cool little built-in section over here. They decided to throw a cushion on it, but it brings in a lot of natural light. You do have the bronze windows, which look black. They're technically bronze. And then this is gonna be an upgrade. I love the sliders. You've got these huge sliders that open up the home. We'll show you in B-roll because there's guys out there filming. Just pretend I'm opening these right now. 
Um, massive covered patio. The ceiling height on the patio is the same as inside. It's 11 or 12 feet out there. You've got two fans, and then they even upgraded the decking out here. So you can see instead of just regular concrete, they've actually added the, the stone pavers. Plenty of room to uh, not only have outdoor dining set, but also just chairs to hang out. Now coming back inside, uh, this is your formal living area. This is really the heart of the home. And this just paints a really good picture of the layout here. Everything's nice and cozy, tucked into this main living area. But this doesn't feel too small. Um, even though they have it spread out, you have four separate chairs with a you know, four-person sofa. You could easily do a massive sectional. And it's not a, a big pass-through living room, and, unless, of course, you opt to use the sliders. But for the most part, it's kind of its own defined space, which I always appreciate. Now, oftentimes you'll find, and it's the case in this floor plan, that the master is off of the back of the home, and it is huge. You've got the 12-foot ceilings with the bay windows, which I think really help it out. And Highlands Designers going with something a little bit different. We don't see green all that often in here, but with the bay windows, you've got plenty of room for a seating area, king-size bed, oversized nightstands, and a full-size dresser. And then you also have pre-wires. Um, they've got built-in surround sound throughout this house. So that's something that you can do in the design center with Highland. And one thing to note with Highland Homes is you can get really, really custom with them. They're one of the most customizable builders, even in their lower price points, which I really appreciate. Now, the finishes in this bathroom are amazing. They took the tile backsplash all the way up behind the shower. So you've got your freestanding tub and then your shower. No bench in the shower, but you, know, you don't necessarily need it. And then the quality of everything just feels higher end when you're in a highland like this is solid glass yeah this is a really nice uh shower enclosure you've got the framed out mirrors um so it's just those little touch points the you know kind of separate tiered counter space with your little makeup counter and then coming back over this way this is the one knock on uh on this one compared to the other model we saw it only has one closet but there's plenty of space in here this is a little bit more i would say standard um plenty of hanging space got your dress hangers over there and here. Um, this should easily accommodate to two people. So I think the closet, even though it's just one closet, is pretty big. Now, as we head back up to the front of the house, I don't want to miss the pantry because the pantry in this kitchen is actually huge. They've got a little bit of stuff stored in here, but uh, that is not your everyday pantry. That thing has plenty of storage. Now, as I mentioned, everything branches off of this main hallway, but one thing I love about Highland floor plans is that it's, it's very compartmentalized. It, even though it's got the open concept, everything else kind of has that old school home nature where everybody kind of feels like they have their dedicated space. So over here, you've got a full size bathroom that's dedicated um, for this bedroom that's located back over this way. It's got a nice stand up shower with the backsplash going all the way up to the ceiling. And then you've got your laundry room. Now, forgive them, they've got a lot of builder supplies in this laundry room, but it's a decent size, not oversized, not massive like we saw next door. Um, and then this is pretty standard size bedroom, but what really makes a difference in here with this full size bed um, and these big nightstands is the fact that the ceiling heights are 12 feet in the bedrooms. I mean, it is, it is huge. Now you've got really good closet space too, so they're not cutting you short. In fact, it's a walk-in that goes both directions. So you got good amount of hanging space, plenty of room for guests or kiddos to store all of their stuff. And instead of the bedrooms all sharing a wall for noise purposes, it's really nice that this home is kind of compartmentalized. So as you walk over to this side of the hall, you actually have two of your other bedrooms. You've got one here, um, decorated really nice. They got great designers, closets, pretty good size as well. Full size walk-in. These two are gonna share this full size bathroom. Um, really not sacrificing on any of the finishes in the bathrooms either. Some homes, you'll start to see that they'll go with lower quality finishes in the guest bathrooms. That's not what they did here. Everything's nice and cohesive and then another walk-in closet. So cool designs. If I'm a young kid, I think this is pretty sweet. And we are still not done. As we walk up over to the front of the house, um, you're gonna have access to your garage. You got a little storage unit here. So coat closet. But what this home has that the one next door didn't have is it actually has a home office. And so tucked in here, away from all of the bedrooms, you can close these glass doors up and actually get some work done. So this is definitely a dedicated office space. I thought this would be a good place to tell you a little bit more about where we're actually located because as I mentioned, we are in Magnolia, Texas, but if you don't know much about Magnolia, Texas, it is not the sleepy old town that it used to be. Magnolia has absolutely exploded in part because of Highway 249, the tollway, which now runs 
directly out of Houston and runs right up to Magnolia. So whereas you used to be way out here in the middle of nowhere, that is just not the case anymore. In fact, from the front of this neighborhood, which is Emory Glen, by the way, you're about five minutes to downtown Magnolia, which downtown Magnolia isn't a lot to write home about, but what's cool about Magnolia, it's got this kind of small town country vibe with all of these new modern amenities. And so you're about five minutes away from tons of commercial shopping. In fact, it seems like all down 1488 and all along Highway 249, there are just new commercial shopping centers popping up left and right. You're actually about 15 minutes away from downtown Tomball too, which is one of my favorite small Texas town. It's got a lot of cool nightlife, fun things to do. They've got festivals over there. And so that is just right down the road. But I really think Magnolia is poised to be one of Houston's best suburbs, just in terms of everything that it has to offer here. And then, as I mentioned, inside of the neighborhood actually already has its amenities in. So you've got the splash pad, which as we were out here filming today on a hot sunny day, saw mom over there with her kids at the splash pad early in the morning perfect place to cool off. And the park here is no joke. It's fully turfed. Honestly, is a park that I envied. I wish they had it over in my neighborhood. And then they have the resort style pool, which is open during the summers when you do want to cool off. So if you don't want to spend the money to build a pool in your backyard, because they're expensive these days, you've got one right down the street. And there are a couple other things that I like because Empire's the developer out here um, that I was impressed by. They've got these really nice brick walls that are privacy walls. When it's all said and done, there's gonna be about 800 homes out here. So this is no slouch when it comes to uh, a size of the community. Um, it's just under 300 acres. So there's a lot going on out here. And because of Highway 249, I think you're just gonna see more and more people moving right out here to the Magnolia area. These prices really blew me away because we've actually sold a ton of Highland homes. In fact, we're one of the top Highland teams in all of Houston when it comes to selling with this builder, but get this, their prices in their larger product actually start at $350,000. And yes, you're gonna get similar finishes to what you saw in there. And even their largest products are gonna go up into the mid to high 400,000s. And that is if you go absolutely crazy and pick out all of the nicest finishes. Their square footages are gonna range on the smaller side from around 1,600 square feet, and they're gonna go all the way up to their larger products that are around 2,700 square feet. So plenty of family-friendly options. If uh, if you're just you know a single young professional and you want something small or even downsizing, um, you can get something around the 1,600 square foot mark, or you can get some of those larger family homes like we just saw that are gonna accommodate all of the bedrooms and extra flex spaces that you would possibly need, all without breaking the bank. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I forgot to mention, these are actually the two most expensive builders out here. Now we're headed to show you the 40 foot products, which start at even lower prices. Now the two 40 foot products we're gonna be showing you are right here. And one of them is Empire, which we already showed you they're 50. And as we mentioned, they're the developer, but the other is Chesmar. Stick around because Chesmar has some rock bottom prices, but look how nice this home looks. I love the curb appeal. I love the blue with the white painted brick. This is very unique. We don't see this style very often. And this being their 40 foot product, it actually is a two story. So there's still um, plenty of larger two story family homes here in their 40 foot product series. So come on in, you'll continue with that theme of these nice painted doors in here, which I think are really cool. Now, as soon as you enter this home, normally this would be completely closed up, but because it's a model home, um, it opens up to their sales center, but this would typically be the garage. And then right behind you, you actually have the downstairs half bath, but I wanna get you directly into the house because this thing actually lives bigger than most 40 foot products. It's nice, wide and open. Uh, immediately when you walk in, the first thing you see is kind of your informal dining area. You've got a six seater table here, but they got a pretty big piece of furniture here. You could easily fit an eight seater table and it's really not cramped at all. It flows really seamlessly over to the living room as well as the kitchen, but check the kitchen finishes out. They've got the two-tone cabinets. You've got kind of the teal blue down here that matches the doors. Pretty cool light fixtures as well, but the thing that I noticed first, tell me if you see it, was this mirrored backsplash. It's super cool, and it goes really well with these nice counters. So they did a lot of finishes in here. We don't see in a lot of model homes, and I really, really like them. So you got your deep uh, stainless steel farmhouse sink. Pro tip, I had this sink in our previous house on Amazon for about 10 bucks. You can get like a little drop in grate for it and it'll keep your stainless steel sink from getting scratched up. Um, over here, you got all of your appliances, Empire once again, and both their 40 and 50 foot products uh, come fully turnkey with blinds, fridge, washer, dryer. So what you see is what you get. Here's the pantry, pretty good size, uh, really good size pantry. This home is gonna sit right around 2,400 square feet, um, but it just feels differently because it is a two story and I love that. 
Now, this is a really big open living area. Um, lots, of, lots of space, and I love that they did the black windows. Super modern. Now, they're a little bit higher than what we've seen in some other houses. I personally kind of like them up here um, versus down low, especially if you have little kids. They're not going to be getting up in the windows, but plenty of living space. Uh, could easily do a sectional over here. And then these chairs, I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to snag one of these. These things are really, really cool. So, now you're going to have to stick around. Um, because we're gonna go upstairs here in a minute, but this is the staircase and I actually peek around real quick Keith Give them a little sneak preview. I love that. It's a hidden staircase. This is a true two-story home You got downstairs you got upstairs. They are completely separated. There's no overflow. I really like it and then Finally the lawn cruise stops so we can actually go outside here, but you have an oversized uh, back patio that's covered uh, That's included with this floor plan and if you'll notice down here They actually did a really cool stamped and stained concrete which I love. Um, you could easily add some kind of outdoor kitchen, but this is a better example of the yard space. Uh, in a 40 foot product, you can see from the fence here to the fence here, that's how wide these lots are. And then it really is first come first serve with lots. So it's the wild, wild west. They just opened up out here. Come grab your plot of land and you can pick your lot, pick which floor plan you want and build on it at these crazy prices. But some of their lots are gonna go a lot deeper and give you plenty of room to build your own swimming pool. But as we mentioned, you don't have to because they have one right here in the community. It's nice and breezy right now, but they do have the fan to help cool you off a little bit. And then you've got your built-in plugs. So if you wanted to plug in maybe a pellet grill, something like that, you've got an outlet out here for that. Now, right across from the patio is the master bedroom and it also faces the backyard. And their designers are awesome. It almost has like a beachy theme going on. They got the wallpaper going up. But you've got 10 foot ceilings in here, modern ceiling fan that's got a really cool look to it. And then you've got that pre wired surround sound going on. So, uh, king size bed, lots of room, plenty of room for activities. And then what's really cool is with those pre wired speakers, they actually have the knobs so you can crank the volume up and down in every single one of the rooms. Following me in here, um, one thing that I love that's a design feature that is more of an architectural feature as far as the layout's concerned is having the closet connect through all the way over to the laundry room. I absolutely love that. I have that in my home uh, and it just it's just very functional. But before we get to that, check out the finishes in here. Um, they went ahead and upgraded to some framed out mirrors. Uh, most of this probably isn't standard with the builder, but the countertops, cabinets, and what you see over here um, are definitely part of the design center selections that you would have if you went and built with Empire Homes. I love that they took the tile all the way up, gave you a little tiled accent. Pretty good size shower, great soaker tub. It's framed out with the, uh, the tile, so I think it looks nice. And then you do have the door to the toilet room now. For whatever reason, the light's off in here, um, but we have our own handy dandy light. But pretty good closet space, especially for a 40 foot product. I don't feel like they're cutting you short. You got your little dress rack over here and plenty of hanging space. But this is what I was talking about. It connects through perfectly to the laundry room. This would fit a full size washer and dryer. And as I mentioned, Empire includes those in the purchase. So you got some hanging space here, some storage, and then you have a nice little landing area. So a good staging area to store your shoes, coats, hats, all of the above. And then it connects right back through over into the kitchen. So it's got a cool little pass through area. And then uh, back up at the front of the home, there's really nothing, nothing there other than the garage and what we already showed you. So back to the hidden staircase. And as soon as we get to the top of the stairs, the first thing I noticed was just how big it is. It's not one of these tight kind of dinky little uh, spaces. These are massive swivel chairs and they have four of them here. I'd probably go with a sectional with the TV setup, but I also appreciate that they took the luxury vinyl plank floors all the way up here. Unfortunately, this isn't sanded up or we would be playing it right now. Keith and I'd smoke you, but uh, pretty cool setup. I actually didn't open this door earlier. I was assuming it was a garage, but it, or uh, sorry, an attic, but it actually is pretty good storage for the upstairs living room. So back in the day, if you were a big DVD guy, that was the jam. So here we go. So this is where uh, all of the other bedrooms are gonna be located. This one they have set up kind of as a home office. And this is the smallest of the rooms, still a decent size. If it's a kid's room and, or a nursery, plenty of space here. And then you've got actually a decent amount of hanging space, probably a six or seven foot wide closet. Um, but it definitely feels a little tighter in this bedroom than the others do. Coming down over here, this is gonna be the shared bathroom for up here. You do have dual vanities. So even though uh, some of the bedrooms are sharing a bathroom, you've got recessed sinks, um, you've got nice quartz countertops, tile going all the way up the wall. 
in that shower tub combo. And But get a, get a look at these because both of these are a lot larger and the closet space here is massive. So ceiling height, a little bit smaller in here um, as opposed to downstairs, but still fits a full-size bed, a large dresser, and then I really appreciate the closet size with the window. And then same thing with this bedroom. So it really is just that one bedroom that's cut a little bit smaller. This is a twin day bed. This could easily fit a queen bed over here. And then you got some cool windows going on. You get a lot of natural light in here with this upper window. I don't know why they blocked the closet with this guy, but uh, this is your whole home hub, your smart hub. This is where you can see they've got like 400 wires running in here. This is where you're gonna run Wi-Fi into your house, run your security cameras and all of those other goodies. Now, you're probably wondering exactly what something like this costs. Well, don't worry, we got you covered. Now, they've got homes in their 40-foot product line starting around 1,600 square feet, going up just a little bit bigger than this one to 2,600 square feet, but their prices actually start at $269,000. To get prices like that with 1,600 square foot homes with this nice of finishes in a master plan community, just five minutes from major shopping centers is very impressive, I, and I, I know You'd be inclined to believe that I say that in every video. That's not the case. I was genuinely impressed when I came out here. With what you get for the money, this is really a hidden gem. Not everyone knows about this neighborhood yet, and I know that that is gonna change after this video goes out. But listen, you've got some amazing prices, and even their most expensive home, their larger 2,700 square foot home, is gonna top out at around $380,000. So you're still well under that $400,000 price point with this builder. But we have one last one to show you, and that is gonna be Chesmar's 40 foot product. Let's check it out. Last but not least is our Chesmar 40 foot product. And as soon as you walk in this home, you actually have something cool going on here. They don't have doors put on this, but this would be a dedicated front office. This wouldn't be a bedroom, but you could use it as a playroom also. But I like it. It's, uh, it's kind of tucked in here at the front of the house. You're not gonna get disturbed by the kiddos. If you do have work, you need to get done. And I actually like how they set it up specifically for two people to work. So uh, if you do need to share a home office, there's plenty of space for that. And I like what they did up there, but they do have a closet, so it does make it nice. You could have some storage in here because it is right up at the front of the house. So if you did have some files or, you know, you tend to have a messy office like I do, you can kind of toss it in there really quick if you got some guests coming over. But right when you get inside this home, it opens up. I do like that about this 40 foot product. Since it's not massive, it's nice that you don't have this long hallway to walk down. As soon as you get into the house, it's open. And so this is gonna be your living room. Some people like that. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer to kind of have the living room not as a pass-through area because this very much is in the middle of the house. You kind of have a highway going on right here. Um, but it's nice and open and it's inviting when you come in, which is always gonna make a smaller home feel larger and more open. You've got a big enough wall here to fit an 80 inch TV. I don't know why they went so small, to be honest, but um, plenty of room here in this living room. You probably, if you were gonna do a sectional, you would L it off just like this. But what I do love a lot is how open the kitchen is. You've got plenty of counter space here. In fact, because it's a peninsula, you have room for four full bar stools. And so in a home like this, I could really see myself and my family actually eating up here at the countertops and speaking of countertops these are different these are a black granite um, i think it's a really cool look uh, it kind of changes things up with the black and white modern theme here not only do you have the four bar stools there you also have three tucked in over here at the island so you got plenty of options when it comes to where to eat on top of the actual formal eating area tucked in over there but I like this, get this view, because as far as hosting goes, you know, if you did want to host, uh, you got a Super Bowl party or Bible studies or whatever you're into, um, this provides a lot of nice like counter space to host people and then them hang out over in the living room where you can still see the TV from the kitchen. So yeah, plenty of counter space. Now coming in here, you got white, um, more basic uh, cabinetry, not as uh, luxurious as some of the other builders that we saw but the pricing is gonna be lower. So that's the real kicker here. Um, still have nice stainless steel appliances, but as you can see, this isn't built in to the countertops. This is a slide in unit and you could upgrade um, to stuff that looks a little bit cleaner that gets rid of the top here. So I do like that the island actually doesn't have anything in it. So there's no sink, no cooktop on the island. You could get this decorative stuff off and have a true island to actually have plenty of space. Now. Because this is a smaller floor plan, they had to put the laundry room somewhere and they did it right in the middle of the house. And so you're actually gonna have the option to add uh, fridge, washer, and dryer when you buy a home with Chesmar. And we've featured Chesmar a lot. They're a really, really good builder, especially in this price point. Now the pantry is a pretty good size 
and it's also located conveniently right here inside of the kitchen. And then this is going to be your kitchenette slash formal dining area. Now it's set up as a six seater. You really can't go larger than that. Um, it is restrictive um, just because of the width that you have to work with here. But let's be honest, this is one of their smaller floor plans. You're probably not gonna need an eight seater table in a house like this. And they do have a smaller covered patio. It's not massive, um, but what I do like is that they actually bricked down along the floor. So it gives it a nice look, kind of ties it into the house. And then they have yard sizes that are a lot larger than this. This one doesn't go back all that far, but you do have the master bedroom right here off of the back of the home and plenty of space. I will say they definitely allocated a lot of the square footage from this home to be where you're gonna use it the most, which is gonna be this master bedroom. Got a king bed and I mean, there's a lot of workable space here. You got a full size dresser, a chair to sit in and then coming over this way, this is gonna be your bathroom and it's not really a tight galley bathroom. It actually opens up nicely. You got your little toilet area over there. You don't have a linen closet here, but you actually have a place to store some towels. So a nice little bench. I don't know, maybe you can dry off there. And then they got rid of the bathtub. Let me know in the comments below if you could live without a bathtub because it freed up enough room to put a pretty big walk-in shower. And then over here, you've got your dual vanities. Uh, finishes compared to the other homes because this is a less expensive home. Um, you're gonna see them go down just a tear, uh, just about one tier. So this is a solid mount. Um, sink countertop combo as opposed to undermount sinks, but still looks nice, looks super clean. When I was a kid, this is too much information, but I tech decked a lot with my little finger skateboards. This would have been my dream. So I had to grow up and run a company now, but, uh, and now we're inside of the closet. The master closet is not huge here. Um, really just enough space, I would say. Um, they could have gone larger, but as I mentioned already, this is one of their smaller floor plans. Now, because the front door is actually kind of along the side of the home, you actually miss an entire section of the house. And so you have one of your other guest bedrooms or children's bedrooms up here, and it's pretty good size. What I like is it's got a cut out by the window. So you actually have room for a desk. And then over here, you've got your closet and we'll just check out and show you exactly how much space you're getting here. Decent amount of hanging space. It's not a walk-in closet, but you've got a full-size bed and this room could easily accommodate a queen. And then right over this way, I don't know if I mentioned, but you do have the vinyl plank flooring. And this is more of a natural wood look. I actually really like it. Um, this is a full-size bathroom that both of these bedrooms over here are going to share. Now this is a three bedroom home. This is a single story, so a lot smaller than anything we've shown you. But because it's a three bedroom, all of the bedrooms actually are pretty decent size. So you have a, a twin day bed with a pull out trundle. But if you were to reorient this room, you could fit a uh, full size bed over here. And then just to show you once again, closet sizes. They got a couple brick selections here. Now, typically the tour would end here because I would normally just say, hey, here's the garage. But I actually wanna show you inside here because they have this set up as their design studio. And so what's cool with Chesmar is you're actually gonna be able to pick everything out. And so whenever you're up here, you don't have to go to a separate design center. You can pick your lot, you can pick your floor plan. And then over here, you're gonna get everything from your carpet to your countertops, to your flooring, whether or not you wanna go wood, um, cabinet colors. You've got your exterior brick selections. And as you can see, you've got a lot of different options. Now, a lot of people that haven't built a house before don't know this, but there's only a few restrictions when you're building in a neighborhood like this. What they don't want is they don't want a bunch of the same house built right next to each other. So typically, because it's first come first serve, if you fall in love with the floor plan, you can't build that floor plan right next to another one. So usually they have to have three homes worth of spacing before you can build that floor plan. That's why it's so important that if you actually like this to call us because you don't want your neighbor getting the floor plan that ultimately you want. Now, you're probably wondering exactly how much these homes cost. Well, here's the cool part. You have homes starting as low as $280,000, actually 279,000. They've got 1,500 square foot floor plans, um, which this one's a little bit larger than that. And they're gonna go all the way up around 2,500 square feet. And those are still gonna be in the low to mid 300,000s. And so if you are looking for that master plan community with those super low prices and you want more of an entry level home and still pick out all of your finishes, this is gonna be a really great option for you. I cannot reiterate, these are some of the best deals that we have seen in any neighborhood we filmed in probably the past year, and no one knows about this place yet. So if you're anything like me, and you've already fallen in love with this product, but maybe you wanna know more about the area, we've got you covered. Check out some of these videos, they'll tell you everything you need to know about living here in Magnolia, Texas, and now we've made it easier than ever to connect with us and our team. Click right here, scan that QR code, fill out that form, and we can set up a Zoom call, and a member of our team will start the process of helping you guys making a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas.